Pirates of the Seven Seas, I am a little horsey. <laughs> No, I won't do that as the intro. Hey, you're the 70s. Welcome back to another Loki Games video. Only time to unveil my big surprise that I've been telling you about all over my social networking sites. If you haven't heard, I've got a big surprise for you today. Well, hopefully you enjoy it anyway. A bomb! Yeah, baby! Oh, shit, it's dirty. Sorry, guys, I didn't, I didn't clean it before I showed you. I think that's from Headbot on the Wall. Sorry about that. For people that don't know what these are, this is the Oculus Rift. You know Oculus Rift, the VR shit that I used to do in the past. This is the consumer version, the Oculus Rift. TV one. Oh yeah, do some professional pans of this shit. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. And touch controllers, so you can move your hands in VR, you know? You can pick stuff up, you can throw grenades, you can shoot weapons, you can battle with swords and shit. Now, I played with these a little bit on uh, the little event that I went to in London, the little Oculus event, and as soon as I was playing with it, I was like, oh my god, I've missed out on so much not having some of these. Hey Ben, I thought you said you were too broke to even eat food this month. Well, I wasn't lying about that because I've actually maxed out my credit card to get this fucking thing. <laughs> hey, Ben, why did you do that? Two reasons. One, the way I've been feeling this last month, you know, with the, all the ups and downs, being a bit depressed and shit, I needed something to fucking cheer me up. And this is the only thing I could think of that would like, you know, if I was down one day, I could just go on it, cheer myself up a little bit. Two, I wanted to bring VR properly. I'm gonna hold these because I fucking love the feel of them. I wanted to bring VR properly back to this channel to maybe bring some of the 50k subscribers that subscribed through that fucking plane video, the VR plane video, back to the videos. If they still know that I exist, that is. <laughs> I think they do because whenever YouTube does a purge, I hardly lose any subscribers. So 111k must be watching now and again. They must still be relevant. I don't know. But I know a lot of people have missed fucking VR because I did Subnautica for a few VR things. But it just a DK2 wasn't that good on it. And I didn't have hands and shit. It, it wasn't very interesting. So bringing it back. I'm just, I'm pressing something then. The fucking Oculus Home's open. I'm pressing something. Now there's bound to be a lot of people saying... Hey Ben, why didn't you get the Vive? It's much better. Well, I did a lot of fucking research on these things, Vive and Oculus, because obviously there's still a lot of money, especially to me. But fucking, that's a fortune right there. It's a little fortune. Most people that when they say about VR, there's always like the Xbox and PlayStation version. They always fucking fight. Same as the VR fans. They always come up with the excuse, I'll go with Vive because it's got room scale. Well, one room scale only really works if you have the room and two i don't think a lot of people that say that know that oculus 2 has room scale <laughs> that's never been mentioned in an argument hey go with vibe he's got room scale yeah so is this idiot you get one of these sensors with the oculus and you get one of them with the touch now oculus says you should have three for room scale, really. But that's just basically to make more money for fucking Facebook. Everyone I've talked to and gone on the forums and shit and looked it up, one of these each side, it works perfectly. I've tested it. You've got room scale with just two cams, the same as room scale with two cams for the Vive. Now, I'm not saying Vive's bad because obviously Vive came out with some fucking brilliant games. I'm just saying that in theory, Oculus is bad. <laughs> I know I'll get some hate for that. Let me explain. Let me explain. Now, the only thing holding me back from... I really should have cleaned you, lad. Now, the room scale thing was the only thing holding me back to uh, get a Vive instead of an Oculus until, obviously, I did all my research and shit. Realised that Oculus has got room scale too. The headset is definitely fucking lighter and smaller. Like, you don't even feel like it's on instead of the uh, the shoebox on your face on the Vive. I'm not having a go at Vive. I'm just saying this headset's a lot lighter and smaller. You don't feel it. The last thing you want is a big fucking clunky thing when you're moving your head around and shit, you know? It comes with... A little, I feel like I'm promoting. I did pay for this. Oculus didn't send me a free one like I thought and said, oh, we'll send you one if you just say good things about it. It's got built-in headphones. Now, a lot of people would take the piss out of these going, oh, God. They're gonna be shit, I'm gonna use my own headphones. But these are fucking excellent. Like a lot of people have said, oh, they're actually pretty good quality, you know? But after wearing them, I think they may even be better than the quality of my, my Sennheisers. Hey Ben, those weren't very fucking dear anyway, they're probably crap. Yeah, thanks. Anyway, <laughs> the headphones are fucking really good, so there's no need to put a headphone over the top of it either. Like the less leads coming out your head, the better, really. Plus from my research, research, 
the search i realized that the controllers are a lot fucking better too but the vive ones they're a bit they work but they're a bit too big like compared to these when you've got lighter and smaller ones why would you go with bigger and clunky you know plus i've heard and seen and felt a lot of a uh, lot of difference in the aiming like when you're doing uh, fps shooters the it's just it's just a little bit it's not much but when you've got a gun in vr you can aim a lot better the vive control is like higher up so you have to sort of shoot like that instead of like that which is more natural so that's another reason i went with the oculus now another um gripe question whatever you want to fucking call it with people that uh, argue over vive and oculus hey then the vive has got better games than the oculus and it's got more of them that is kind of true well done <laughs> the Vive has got more and sometimes better games. But what people don't realise is that most of, well, all the ones I've found that I've wanted on Vive, you can get them on Oculus too. <laughs> so that, see, see, when I found that out too, I was like, why not go with a lighter one then? Plus there's um there's the ability, like on, uh, I'll get to Onward later on, but the FPS, uh, FPS game Onward, you can play against Vive players. So it's kind of like cross-platform and shit. So you can actually play, like, when would you ever see... Xbox people being able to play with PlayStation people on the same network. If your friend's got a Vive, you can still fucking play with them, you know? So, yeah, all the Vive games that I've wanted, you can get on Oculus too. So that that was another no-brainer, really. So, all in all, I think that I've made a good job. I keep picking this up every time I fucking speak. I just love the lightness of it, guys. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think all in all, I've made a good decision with the Oculus instead of Vive. Some people probably die-hard Vive fans and be like, Oh, you fucking suck, mate. Well... Fuck off my channel then if you don't want to see it. It's good that I put it on my credit card. For people that kids that don't know what credit cards are, some some of you may not. Basically like a loan from the bank. So luckily, because I maxed out my credit card with this, I, I can pay it back in small installments and shit over months and months. Which is good for me because obviously, like I said, I'm broke as shit at the moment. So yeah, I've basically just taken out a loan even though I'm broke. But I think it's worth it. You think it's worth it? Some of the games that I've played so far, like I've obviously tested this out as soon as I fucking got it. Uh, some of the games I've played are... Just fucking amazing. They, they make you feel like God <laughs> in some of the games. That there's a uh, Robo Recall, which I'm going to be playing. There's Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. Uh, Onward, like I said. Oh, there's, there's fuck it. I've got quite a few. I have got quite a few on there, which from my credit card again. So, yeah, I've got a couple of games to bring you, man. And, yeah, they are fucking amazing. Also, I'm going to be doing the multiplayer videos with Bultramax. Good old Bultramax is coming back. I know you've missed that mofo with the afro because he's got an Oculus too. So, we're going to be playing some of that Onward. For people that don't know what the Onward is, it started off as a Vive game, now it's obviously on Oculus 2. Uh, it's basically virtual reality armor. That's all I'm giving you. It's, it's fucking hilarious. Wait till you see me on it. I think there's gonna be, this is gonna, this is gonna be good. It's gonna be fucking good. Like, a lot of you want me to do Oculus games, but then you don't in a way because the DK2 shit and I haven't got hand control. I think we're gonna bring a lot of the old viewers back with this. Hopefully, if not, you new viewers, you're gonna fucking love it anyway. It's going to be brilliant. I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing it, which means that the video's gonna be more fucking entertaining, you know? Uh, the first video I'm gonna do, I don't know. I think Robo Recall, which is coming tomorrow. One of my favourite by far. I've played, I played about seven or eight games so far. Robo Recall is like virtual reality iRobot. You feel like Will Smith in it. Fucking, I wasn't even recording. I was pissing myself the things I was coming out with. So that's going to be a blast. I think I'll bring you that tomorrow. First Oculus game with the new CV1 coming tomorrow, yo. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to follow me on all these stock sites on the side if you haven't yet. Check that old man down there to go subscribe to my backup channel. Check the bell below to get notifications on my latest VR videos. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.